this this table we saw in shabda manjari so i have just taken it and put it here uh, uh, for the verbs so pat in lat lakaraha prathama purushaha is actually corresponds to third person in uh, uh, english but learn it as prathama purusha learn it as madhyama and uttama so that you don't get confused with the english notations there okay it's easier this way so uttama purusha is always i because we give more importance to us <laughs> so uttama purusha uh, uh, as in and then madhyama purusha is the person who comes uh, who is next which is you and then prathama purusha is everything else he she it whatever you want you can put it there pathati pathatah pathanti pathasi pathathah pathath for now i will include um the nouns also here just for the first one you don't need to do that for the rest of the worksheet okay just to know maybe i should include one more column here or something like that hmm epdi adu panna marandu poitena okay this is saha um sorry saha sa and you can have tat patati or any other these will come here so the corresponding dual you will have to find not only saha you can have idam sa uh, ramaha purushaha chhatraha all of those things can come there and for uh, pathataha it is uh, dual so imau pathataha ime uh pathataha okay so this will be in dual form and for pathanti you can do imaha ime uh, or imaha just to note or i can do uh chhatraha and uh let's say mm, mm. mahilaha okay any form can come here i can say saha padhati i can say i am padhati athava chhatraha padhati it can be masculine feminine or neuter whereas for these you will have padhasi it's going to be tvam padhasi huh? yuvam padhataha yuyam pathath okay the same manner aham pathami avam pathavah vayam pathamah okay these are the nouns that will go with these verbs next is lot lakaraha this is present tense so this is vartamana kalam um so vartamana ha you don't need to write that in your exercise but i'm just showing it here vartamana ha is present tense lot is a form of request or uh, anything you can have prarthana you can have vidhi order agnya sam prashna the prashne there are many uh, uh, meanings to it but the most common that we use is prarthana uh, and uh, agnya these are the two common uh, meanings that we use this in okay from here your exercises start so let's uh, go one by one if someone wants to attend can i try yeah sure भवती मध्यम पुष लिखसी लिखता लिखता 
Okay, I'm just going to fill this in, but there are some blank spaces here. Uh, sorry, uh, Bhuda, uh, sorry, uh, Lik Dhatu, Lek hmm? Lakara. Oh, sorry, apologies again. No, no, it's okay. okay. Sometimes we miss on these small details, which is what I want you to remember and do. Uh, vad, vad Dhatu. Okay. Uh, Lot Lakaraha. Yes. Vad, Vadatam. Uh, vada, Vadatam. Vada, Vadat. Yes. Okay. So you need to uh, go through these like this. Yeah. It's a nice way to practice. Uh, I'm sure, I think in the first exam, you'll have these uh, questions also to fill up. And then I have a couple of uh, uh, fill in the blanks and translations, which you can work on at home. Now we can move on to the uh, text if you want. Okay. Oh, I have a clear? question on how, how, how was the differentiation made between let and the load in that uh, example? In which example? So, for example, how did uh, Sujan figure out it is uh, Vada load? So, the forms are see, these three forms are in Lat Lakaraha. Okay. So, Vada, you'll have to know these Lakaras to understand. Right, so you'll have to remember Pathatu Patadam Patantu Patha Patatam Patata Patani Pathava Pathama. Patha is looks very similar to Vada looks very similar to Patha. So you fill up the rest. Why don't you try the next here? No, no I'm not talking yeah. about uh, filling out the rest, but how do you know, identify that it's a lot versus lot? Because it is separated. They are different forms. Because when you see the form Vada, if there was the only form. There is no Vada in Lat. There is okay. no Lat. Right? And also the Vada. First is... three rows are uh, Lat Lakara, and the next three rows are Lot Lakara. It's written there. Yeah. If you, if you look at the Pata uh, one nine, right? You have Pata, Patatam, Patata for Madhyam Purusha, right? So if you look at the Datu Pat, and if you look at the form Pata, or Pata with Maprana, then you see that the, it's very close to the Datu form, right? And that happens only in Lot. In other words, you have to mug up one Lot form, Arun. There's no escaping it. Okay. That's what okay. You have to mug it up. Like one, memorizing one. multiplication tables. Yeah. You cannot escape that. Yeah. No matter how many apples and oranges you keep and say, this is how multiplication works. Ultimately, you have to memorize two times two is four. Okay. <laughs> That's how this works. Okay. So yeah, but you don't have too much. So I to... think uh, the endings huh? are like uh, ti taha anti, si taha tha, hmm? mi vaha maha. You can remember yes. that that is what goes for laklakara. Whenever you have a pathati, that hmm. is ti ending with the ti. So it is. Lat Lakara, that's the clue. We, we used to remember it in that manner. For Lot Lakara, Tu Tamantu, Dash Tamta, because there is nothing here. It's yeah. the closest to uh, the Dhatu, Dash Tamta. Ani Ava Ama, because it is Dirgha here again. Ami Ava Ama. I, I used to work it up as He Tamta. Oh, uh, Dehi, Dehi, and the Mariyoro. Yeah. yeah. But but the thing is, Arun and Ramesh ji, you don't have to be worried about too much mugging up, right? Because you're doing only in stages and you're doing you're mugging up only for one dhatu, which will be representative for the whole set, right? So you but with that one dhatu, which is nine forms, you have to mug up, right? So and there are similarities between lat, lat and lot. Like in Uttam Purusha, if you see Pathava, Pathama, there's no Visarga, that's the only difference, right? So you should just get over that fear of mugging up and just do just for this for one datu, but choose pat datu and mug up the lat and lot. That's it. It's only like you know 18 forms. Uh, it'll be not too difficult. Yeah, just... slowly we will increase. Don't worry. <laughs> it's only okay, so Hari, what are you saying? Okay. So essentially, say for example, if pat is pata is the uh, datu, then you're saying uh, Get the nine plus nine, right? Lot plus load. 
that's it just get yes. that and keep only put in your mind right and use that as a model for everything else vadd becomes so like patati patata patanti vadati vadata vadanti or patatu patatam patantu become vadatu vadatam vadantu so just substitute most of the time you will get it like 70% of the time it will work would gama be uh, the gama same ah, so gama is gach gach so here uh, i have it somewhere here ah gach you can even write the dhatu as gach for now later you will understand that the original dhatu is gama gamal then you will know other things also in it okay ha uh-huh. okay so gama hmm these verbs we will deal with the new lesson in the new lesson now and then you can work on these okay also it comes in many sh- stotras like this lot lakara right it mm. comes in many stotras so if you're reading like you know shlokas and stotras you will see this come in uh, you know sarve mm. bhavantu sukhinah mm. right bhavatu bhavatam bhavantu right sarve santu niramayah like yeah so santu once again lot so you see this this uh, this comes in so many places you know after 2 3 years most of my students they'll say they start recognizing what they are saying every day they'll start you will start recognizing those words and then you will put two and two together and say ah okay this is what i'm doing huh? you'll you'll slowly recognize you if you have been studying sanskritam for a longer time then you'll know uh, in some ways if you have been studying for example ramesh ji do you remember this this one bhava shankara deshika me sharanam ramesh ji you remember this do you know where it comes you are in mute 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 பதவீன் <laughs> yeah i know yeah yeah i'm not right but correct yeah. that is that is the lot lakara here sure ene kore gushi eduthu saundra lari sonna unde because that's a very beautiful shlokam adu i have to become your dasa abdinu ketukra you know he uh, he wants to start off like that hey bhavani iti bhavani shabdasya sambodhana prathama there actually so so hey, they are saying bhavani is uh, the verb form Uh, so, uh, yeah how the shloka goes is it's a very beautiful uh, example to know it's both the verb and the noun there bhavani tvam dase mai vitara drishtim sakarunam so you'll have to show your very compassionate drishti on me on me he bhavani iti bhavani shabdasya sambodhana prathama okay so he bhavani uh-huh. and that is also the same hraswa Okay. okay okay and the uh, bhakta he starts off by saying bhavani tvam that's all and immediately she takes that as a complete sentence and she says i have to become you a uh, bhakta is asking me uh-huh. aham tvam bhavani and she gives uh, sayujya padavi uh-huh. sayujyam is becoming completely one with the uh, the shakti there tadatmyam tadatmyam no. so in other words it's a it's a word play with by the poet where he used is using it as sambodhana prathama as well as the verb yeah got it chaturanga yeah. rasa okay mm. <laughs> so R- ramesh ji i think you're reading lakshmi dhara right yeah <laughs> so does he explain this does he explain the same way yeah he you know he refers to this lot lakara and all that kind of thing. Uh-huh. Mm. yeah that's it this is it is the lot lakaram of bhava dhatu So, so I have to tell you, uh, Mahode, that uh, Ramesh Ji is reading Lakshmi Dara on his own. Oh, so amazing! Like, you know, it's like, <laughs> so, it's like amazing. I like, absolutely oh, commend you. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a beautiful Vyakhan. Uh, I like the Sandhlari. The, ah, uh, ma. 
no, there are two I, three vyakhyanams <laughs> no but unfortunately the first part i understand the second part when he when he kind of uh, praises the shankara's poetic ability i am <laughs> lost i have no clue what he said yeah but anyway that's, that's okay. Uh, okay so now we can go to the text i will close all of this we'll have we have just a little bit more in this uh, section uh, just numbers and uh, if you can see this properly uh, can you read this uh, ramesh mohde i'll try uh, ha, so where we stopped guru. was he we stopped with ekam dve trini chatvari pancha shat sapta ashta nava dasha ओके गुरु नेक्स्ट व्हाट नेक्स्ट रमेश न जाना भोह डोंट नो आफ्टर दैट आई डोंट नो सर गुरु Aham bravimi shunu. Mm. Uh, I think Guru says, I will tell you, listen. Mm. Bravimi then, ekam... is, so bravimi, the dhatu is bru dhatu. Uh, what is the purusha and uh, vachanam? Uh, uh, Uttama purusha ekvachanam. Mm. Uttama purusha ekvachanam. Okay. Shurunu? Okay. Uh. Shrunu is listen. What dhatu? Listen, yes, listen. Ah, but what shru, lakara is it? Be, uh, must be shru uh, shru dhatu. Uh, okay, shru dhatu who? Ah, and then uh, what uh, uh, the verb? I can't remember. I have to look. Ah, lot lakara. So Tamil learning. You just pay attention. Now I'm telling you. Kerala. Abhi ne. It's like an order. Ah, ma. It's like a request. So, uh, so when that sort of a meaning comes out, it is lot lakara. नहीं यार ना कुछ रोम्पा क्रेडिट कुड़ करेले यार ना तमुलों ने चलिया तेरे आधे उनका हाँ इस तरह इट्स ओके आई हैव डाउट हाँ सो इट्स जस्ट द ऑथर और दे डिसाइडेड टू यूज़ ब्रवीमी इंस्टेड ऑफ़ अदामी हम्म या they just decided to confuse us with uh, difficult verbs so it's okay this is how they bring in a lot of verbs and how you will have to understand so chittur is not a step by step thingy it's like uh, a direct plunge into uh, a literary sanskrit <laughs> yeah fire hose yeah. i mean the thing is bravi uh, me like if you re- if you if you, if you recite geeta right or if you recite any of the major ones you will find these verbs coming in So, Aham Bravi me Krishna says, no, I will tell, right? And then Shrunu also Krishna will tell Arjuna Shrunu, right? So if you, you if you draw the connections, you will find that you already know all of these. It's not really that difficult if you draw the connections, but you just have to think about it. And and also one thing I just want to add for Ramesh ji, when you say the verb, right? If uh, if the question is asked, what is the purusha? Then you should see who is the agent of the verb. Is mm-hmm. somebody else saying it? Or are you is, is you are you saying it or am I saying it? Bravi me is basically I am saying it. Yeah, Apo Uttama Purusha. Shrunun Solrache Vande. You listen, Nikhil, right? Mm. So you have to think of it in terms of who is the agent of the verb, and that agent is the Purusha, Uttama or Madhyama or Pratma. So you just have to think about it, Konja. And whether it's a factual statement or is it an order or request? If it's a factual statement in time, it will be lot. I mean, sorry, lot. Lot. right and then if it's like an order request it will be load so you ning vand you already know everything but you are just scared you don't have to don't have to be scared you already know it this is actually the simplified version of what you are reading so onnume illa illa vand there is nothing in, uh, yeah to be scared about ha mele so shrunu is madhyama right uh, so madhyama purusha ha lot lakara ha eka vachanam dui vachanam bahu vachanam which is it eka vachanam yes एक वचन ओके 
And I think Vadami and Bravimi, one is I will speak, you listen, or I will tell you will listen. Uh, like plain <laughs> words. Yeah. Uh, okay. But usually, Sanskrit plus speak, tell, there is no difference there. Uh, Vyaktayam vachi, that's all. When there is a manifested form of uh, speech, then you use bru dhatu or vadu dhatu. It's fine. Okay. Uh, depending on the context, we can translate it in whatever manner we want. Okay. Ekha dasha, dwa dasha, trayo dasha, chatur dasha, pancha dasha, shodasha, shapta, sapta dasha, ashta dasha, ekona vimshatihi. Vimshati. Hmm. Ah, these are all numbers. Uh, why, uh, Ekadasha is 11, 12, uh, Trayodasha 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Ashtadasha 18, Ekona, Ekona Vimshati 19, Vimshati 20. Now, how is Ekona Yeva. Vimshati? Do you know this form instead of Navadasha? Eka Una. Eka una vimshati, twenty one less than twenty. One less than twenty. Eka una vimshati. This is the Chamago Rutra Lavor on Right. Question. But why did he not use Navadasha? Uh, Navadasha uh, can also be used, but Ekona vimshati is uh, another expression which he is using here. Question. Uh, yeah. As per our previous conversation, all the numbers more than four are all uh, Napunsakalingam, right? Yes. And all these numbers. Not are... Napunsakalingam. There is no, no particular, it does not follow the gender of the, uh, uh, this thing. Vimshatihi Balakaha. Vimshatihi Mahilaha. Vimshatihi Yanami. Each okay. number has its own. Uh, this thing. If you see in the next section, you will find a shashtihi. Shatam. Shataha nasti. There is no mm. word shataha. There is no mm. word sahasraha. So sahasram, shatam, ayutam, <coughs> laksham, kotihi. Whereas koti is kotihi. So ashtadasa bala, ashtadasa ba bala, balikaha. Ashtadasa pustakam. Pustakani. pustakani. That's it. Okay. The mm -hmm. form doesn't change, but still they have the same gender. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Evam. Ah, Evam Trimshate. Chatuarimshate. Chatuarimshate. Forty. Panchashate. Shastihi. Saptatihi. Ashitihi. Navatihi Shatam Iti uh, Dasha Shahava. Mm, Dasha Shaha Patapata Intense. Ah, pat uh. Intense. Uh. Uh, Satam Iti Dasha Shaha Sankhyanam Bhavati. Uh, uh, Sankhyanam Bhavati. Counting uh, happens. Uh, uh, counting uh, happens in tens. Dasha Shaha uh. in this manner. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Huh. Bhavati. Paschat bodayami tavat. Hmm. Afterwards, paschat. afterwards, paschat, afterwards, I will teach you. Bodayami ah. ah. So, this, for now, this is enough. Later, I will teach you. Abdingra. Huh? Hmm. So, paschat bodayami tavat. Uh, there are questions here. Now, I just want to go through this uh, sandhi that is there in this. So, eshaha plus asmi, esha plus asmi, there are two things here. These at this level, you just know that this is how these two words are going to join and this is how you'll have to separate them. You just need to know how it joins and how you separate it. You don't need to know what goes on inside all the sandhi rules, what are the steps, all of those things you don't need to know. How it is present in the text and how you will have to split the words. So take these separately and write it uh, uh, so that you are familiarizing yourself with the uh, uh, sandhi, uh, not rules as such, but how these two words come together and go on. So yeshaha asmi, it is given split for the words that are present in the lesson. Okay. Sorry. I 
forgot to mute my huh. uh, so esha eshaha plus asmi if you find in the first uh, uh, page you have eshosmi bhoho so eshosmi bhoho has been split into eshaha plus asmi then the next one is eshasmi please don't put this avagraha here write it as one word eshasmi ha huh? eshasmi next is esha plus asmi so any words if you find they are put together in this lesson if you go to the end of the lesson these words have been split and given it for easier uh, understanding okay kim plus chit plus iva if you know uh, see here kinchi diva kinchi diva janami boho when the teacher asks do you know the uh, sankhya he says janami boho kinchi diva i know a little bit so kim chit plus iva kinchi diva it joins like that okay so chit would be little right or less small uh, mm apdi la kinchit together means little bit kinchit iva so iva means only uh, kim is no no only. iva is actually like Not iva like. can also mean eva so when you use it as an expression kinchit iva each uh, meaning loses its own uh, individual meaning and it takes on a new meaning which is just a little yeah okay like somewhat hmm so some and what whatever what and ever they have two different meanings but when you join those two together whatever it has a totally different meaning in today's teenage world <laughs> and so that's that's how it is even that the dasha saha is not one word right it is dasha Saha. no it is no it is one word the shaha is a pratyayam that is added there so pratyayam okay thank you hmm dasha shaha um pancha shaha uh, uh, five in fives you can add in fives pancha shaha gunanam karotu i uh, multiply in fives so that can be added to numbers to understand the number of multiplication or then uh, a grouping okay these are all avyayas I, we spoke about avyayas in the earlier lessons also avyayas are those that cannot be declined in the form of a shabda okay now we can move on to the next lesson we'll just read a little bit of the next lesson and then uh, yeah somebody else mm sujan mohde do you want to do this i can go uh, i think he didn't attend the classes last time so he can do it this time yeah is it okay if i go yeah sure chaturdashah paatah hmm 14th 14th lesson 14th lesson ayam shirah ha yes. that is wrong here please this is idam shiraha idam shiraha make no, the corrections uh, because huh? shiram is napunsapling yes that... shiraha shirasi shiramsi oh, okay. it's a sakaranta napunsakalinga shabdah oh, okay. idam shiraha mm. idam shiraha shirasi dve netre iyam nasika let's go one by one so that we understand each sentence so shirasi in the head on the head or in the head there are two eyes eyes so what is netre uh, give Net, me the netram netre uh, phalam phale plan netram netre netran uh. yeah netrani netrani okay so it is like there is taha right Shirasa. yes implied is taha correct dve netre is taha uh, and what is the form of shirasi uh, shiraha shirasi shiramsi in uh, uh, when you go to the seventh uh, case saptami vibhakti shirasi shiraso shirasu 
is the saptami vibhakti so shirasi in the on the head or in the uh, head saptami vibhakti kavachanam mm. mm. sama saptami vibhakti sakaranta pulling uh, napunsaka lingaha shiras shabdaha saptami vibhakti ekavachanam yam nasika this is a nose mm. imau karnau these two are ears now what is karnaha is it uh, kar- karnau masculine feminine or neuter strilinga pullinga apunsakalinga uh, pullinga dvivachanam yes pullinga ha dvivachanam karnau akaranta pullinga no no sorry what am i saying akaranta pullinga shabda dvivachanam yeah. okay prathama prathama vibhakti correct idam mukham this is a face mukhe iyam jivha in the mouth this is a tongue ha mukhe again in the mouth so this is also tell me what is this word mukhe is mukham uh, it's a akaranta napumsaka lingah saptami vibhakti ekavachanam good jihva jivha ime dantah hmm now what is dantah teeth okay These tell me the are teeth uh, tell me the linga is the napumsaka lingam akara napumsaka lingam prathama vibhakti bahu vachanam how is it napumsaka lingam dantam dantam dante dantani de sorry sorry akaranta pullinga ದಂತ ಶಬ್ದ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಬಹು ವಚನ ಸಾರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಅರುಣ್ ಮಹೋದಯ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಸೊ ಜಿಹ್ವಾ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಲತಾ ಮಾಲಾ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಡು ಯು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಕಾರ ಆಕಾರ ಅಂತ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಪುರುಷ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಔಷ್ಠೌ ಓಷ್ಠೌ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಓ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಮೌ ಓಷ್ಠೌ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ನಾ ಕನ್ಸಕ್ಲಿಂಗ ಓಷ್ಠಹ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಕಾರ ಓಷ್ಠ ಅಕಾರಾಂತ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ದ್ವಿವಚನ ಗುಡ್ ಹಾ ಅಯಂ ಕಂಠಹ ಸಕಾರಾಂತ ಸಕಾರಾಂತ ನಪುಂಸಕಲಿಂಗ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಏಕವಚನ ಇಮೌ ಅಂಸೌ ಅಂಸೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ಯುವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಅಂಸ ಶೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಭುಜೌ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ karau sorry two arms two hands two hands yeah karau Im- amsau it is amsa uh, akaranta pullinga shabda prathama vibhakti dvivachanam okay imau bhujau these two are arms okay imau karau these two are hands karayoh pancha pancha angulyah santi Mm. These... Now in the earlier lesson, we saw how many fingers are there in the hand. So yeah. we saw kare pancha angulyaha santi. Now he is including one more hand and saying there are five, five fingers in two hands. Kara yoho. Kara yoho. Ah. Akaranta pullinga shabta saptami vibhakti dvi vachanam. Yes. Kara yoho pancha pancha angulyaha. ಅಂಗುಳ್ಯ ಅಂಗುಳಿ ಇಕಾರಾಂತ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ಶಬ್ದ ಪ್ರಥಮ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಬಹುವಚನ 
santi so we saw that there is also a pullinga word for that angulihi iti the uh, uh, strilingam also right not uh, pullinga this is strilling right anguli anguli mm. anguli angulya angulya ha or there is also angulihi like mati shabda okay ಇದು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈ ಕಾರ ಅಂತ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ಇದಂ ಉದರಂ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಹಿಂಗ ಯುವರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇದಂ ಉದರಂ ಇದಂ ಉದರಂ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಇಂ ಕಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಕಾರ ಅಂತ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ಕಟಿ ಶಬ್ದ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಲಿಂಗ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಂ ಹಿಯರ್ idam stham this is a back okay ime uru these two are thighs okay ime januni guru these... is a rukarantam uh, no uru uh, is a um, ukarantaha strilinga shabda actually it is masculine karanta pullinga shabda uru uru uruva no no if it is pullinga shabda it should be imau uru oh i mean i'm just trying to find out in which this thing he says strilinga there is no strilinga vachanam for it like he is going to go like denu denu right that's how he is putting uru but idilala uh, kalpadruma says it is only pullinga pullinga Yeah. So we'll change it to Imau Uru. Imau Uru. Okay. Sorry. Ime Januni. Januni is knees. Uh, knees. Now this is, when you see this knee, uh, uh, it's an indication that it is Napunsakalingam. Janu, Januni, Januni. It's an Ukaranta, like Madhu, Madhuni, Madhuni. Ukaranta, Napunsakalingam, Janu Shabdha. ಮಧುನಿ ime jange these two are um uh, are um, uh, are calf yes right imau padau a jange ime jange do you know the root word whether it is uh, which gender lingam jangham uh, imam no, it's jangha jangha okay uh-huh. napunsaka lingam mistre jangha stri linga padam okay okay jangha okay imau padau pada shabda akaranta pullinga shabda prathama vibhakti dvi vachanam okay padayoho api pancha pancha angulya santi hmm. on on the two feet there are five five fingers five yes. five, five toes there are also five on the two feet yeah. also, 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 other, also you have to include it somewhere so padayoho api padayoho ime sharirasya avayavah these are parts of the body okay so tell me what is sharirasya sharirasya is a sharira shari akaranta pullinga shashti vibhakti ekavachanam what is this the sentence mm-hmm. oh sorry no, no, no. akaranta napumsaka linga uh, shashti vibhakti ekavachanam that's why we started off the lesson with shariram yeah. so it is a napunsakalinga shabda so shashti vibhakti ekavachana ime sharirasya avayavaha here avayavaha is avayam avayavam 
न अवयवा इत्यस्ति खलु न इट्स अ अवयवा पुल्लिंग शब्द इट्स नॉट स्त्रीलिंग सो व्हाई यू सी दिस वुड दिस कम फॉर स्त्रीलिंगम दैट्स वेयर माय क्वेश्चन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम सो दिस ई मे इज द्विवचनम फॉर बट शरीरस्य इज गो टू गो बैक टू द व्हाट लेसन ई मे हमसाह for you and that is an infantry reader sorry what is there in this uh, plural there, there should be a plural it's there ime tavane ime tavane itre it's there na 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 tanna tatav purvam before kidrisham ime vrikshah da ha ta ime sharah atra santi in this ninth lesson ime sharaha and then we saw only that and you did one whole ha the te sharaha te ghata ha okay this Call one yeah. okay so this ha, ime ghata is referring to avayavaha right yes referring to avayavaha ime ghata ha ime bhala ha ime aja ha ime gaja ha Uh, okay. my my question is uh, we should not consider uh, the lingam of shri rasya in this sentence no no yes that's correct so in this uh, sixth uh, case when we were reading the sixth case i told you do not consider the case ending of shri rasya correct okay where are we now because subject is still uh, uh, avayava avayava yes. Hmm. Yeah, ime avaya avayava sharirasya. Put it in your methodology. You said ime avayava ha sharirasya. Sharirasya. Yeah. Hmm. So, so these parts are. Uh. So to master this lesson, one has to take each of the words shiraha or netre or nasika. Then, really, ideally speaking, you should say ek vachanam, two vachanam, bahu vachanam, like shiraha, shirasi, shramsi, yes. or netram, netre, net. So for every word. one should say all of the three and then one one can be helped to find out which linga it is by the pronoun that precedes it like okay. iam nasika would tell you that okay this is stri linga padam or idam netram or idam mukham would tell you snapam sik linga padam so using the clues one should find the lingam of the word and then mentally recite the three forms to really yes. master this lesson right that's yes. how one master the lesson iam nasika ime nasike imah nasika ayam karnaha imo karnau ime karnaha इदम मुखम इमे मुखे इमानी मुखानी सो सो ए गेम प्लान वुड बी टू टेक द शब्द मंजरी लिस्ट आउट द बेसिक वर्ड्स फॉर अकारांत पुमलिंग स्त्रीलिंग नपुंसकलिंग इकारांत पुमलिंग स्त्रीलिंग नपुंसकलिंग राइट बट ओनली द प्रथम एंड द्वितीय फॉर द मोस्ट पार्ट वी डोंट नीड सप्तमी और द्वितीय यू कैन नॉट येट यू डोंट नीड दैट यू कैन just right. leave it out actually not there is another part for this where he goes with तृतीय विभक्ति in all of this okay but uh, oh but we will be need trutiya for this yeah the, okay see why am shirasa devam namamaha okay. so netrabhyam pashyamaha okay so that means we do we do all the first three vibhaktis yes pratham dvitiya and tritiya and then we master those so we should not take this lesson lightly basically yeah 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 so i think we should lesson. take off for one more week work on these with a lot of uh, exercises and then move to the next lesson right so for sujan and for ramesh ji i think we should uh, we should point out that you should really master prathama vibhakti and dvitiya vibhakti for all the basic forms before you proceed from this lesson like absolutely get handle on it yeah okay so i would say we'll stop now 